What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, let's uh, make our way on over to Aerith, which is the opposite of the route I'm going right now. You know why Rufus had to step up, don't you? Everyone's saying it. Of course. No, never mind. We're not getting there from here. Hmm. Let me, let me look at it and... Probably this way, probably out of the city, and then it looks like there's a little path that I can take up and out. Day and night, just playing that jazz. Cloud! Over here! Let's get started then, shall we? I need to get close to Aerith. I'm curious if she has the the holy materia in her hair still. Except for a split second, it looked like that the little gem wasn't there. But that would be a good indicator of whether or not it is a alternate timeline. I need to get like a close up of her hair. Stop! You're running too fast, Aerith. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. She's going too fast. Maybe I could check a cutscene for it. Uh No, I was zooming in and then it was gone. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. So it doesn't look like it, right there. It's Shinra? Calm ain't so calm anymore. They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. Actually, I should probably uh, check my materia before shit goes down. So what do we got? Healing Materia linked with Fire, we got Assess, and then Weapon Ability Damage is our Weapon Skill. I mean, Mug... Should I put Mug on now? Start... Start leveling it up? Probably. Assess, obviously, we need. Um... Tifa, you can have fire. What is this? Oh, uh, what does Cloud have on? Cloud has on Chocobo and Moogle. Offer stat bonuses. This material cannot gain levels. Um, I'm trying to remember what the, let's see. Freet, attack, that's going to, oh. No, Red can have it. I'll let Red have it. Shiva. All right, I guess we'll just keep Chocobo on. Um, let's see. 
Increased attack power with unbridled strength is active with a 5% boost at chi level 1 and a 10% at chi level 2. Or increased duration by 50%. Let's go there. Is there any materia that is not on? No. All of our materia is used. Prayer, wind. Actually, let me give her the fire I gave Tifa. No, let's go Fleeting Familiar. Timing input for precision defense. Prevent binding attacks from blocking perfect timing. Oh, that's... that's a cloud thing, I think. You can have bio and healing, and then... Counter spin, sure, that sounds good. All right, everyone is... Headband, it grants immunity to sleep. What earrings do? Magic attack, okay. Uh, let's put it on red. the helicopters would spot somebody walking around on the rooftops. Down below, waiting for you. 
the tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Chocobo farm? Also. Take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Convert raw materials into practical items like consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your options, collect chips found throughout the world. Or improve your craftsmanship. Uh, sure. Let's, let's look. Items and armor. Go to Sage and Planet's Blessing. That's cool. Stuff we find out in the world, like just items and stuff to collect. Oh, you made it all in one piece. Sorry, we're late. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. What? Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> Got that? Uh, oh. Now, let's move. I hope I can buy that sword that was for sale somewhere else. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Just look at it all. It's so green. Oh man, that's a lot to explore. <laughs> that's a lot of to do. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, 
but in reality, it's barely hanging on. <laughs> Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. No, Mansion Sword. Let's go. Adjust your party member from the combat settings up to three preset parties to swap between while exploring the world. Open and swap between them. Setting a destination. Story markers and discovery markers are automatically added. You can place your own pin with R3. For now, head to the farm Broden spoke of. It's marked with the pin. I ain't doing that right now. I got I wanna explore, bro. Transmutation materials obtained out of wood, dropped by enemies, hard to come by. Got it. Uh, so, for our party, yeah, let's do this for now. Cloud, Red, and Aerith, that sounds good. I'm gonna be playing with, with everybody, obviously. The great thing, too, is, like, there's there's nothing else on deck for me to record this month. I know with, like, Banishers, I was, like, you know, I, got, I gotta get through this, because I knew this was coming up, but, you know, in terms of, like, what's next, like, this is it until, like, March, which I think we'll, we're probably gonna do... I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do the Dragon's Dogma or Rise of the Ronin for the Let's Play. It just depends what shows up first, since they're releasing at the same time, you know? Like, if if I get one two weeks in advance to review, that's the one that's obviously getting episodes, because I'll have time to prep them. Um, but, you know, that's, that's like a month from now. So, I am just gonna be doing everything in this game. See some baddies over there, and like a cottage. Alright, you're weak to fire. Okay. And is there anything to steal off of you? They help to steal. Chunk of iron. You have upgrade mats on you. So I'm going everywhere but the objective. Card shop? Open up. Open up the door. Give me those cards. It was so weird. The other night I actually had a dream that I was like at some party and they had like just stacks of like magic card boosters laying around and I was like, I'm just taking these. I, like, stole them all, which doesn't even make sense, because I haven't played Magic in, like, years. Let alone play Paper Magic, I haven't played in probably 15 to 20 years. And 
uh, MTGO, the online version, I haven't played that in probably like three or four. So, I'm like, I don't know why the hell I'm dreaming about stealing magic cards. <laughs> Ah, there's, there's so much we can explore. Maybe I should make my way over there. Oh my god. Oh, cool. It marks like, hey, you got three of the cards people here. I'm guessing if we go over there, we probably get a chocobo. So I, I should... I should go that way. But let's, let's do a little bit of looking around at least. I'm assuming the chocobo is going to make things a lot easier in terms of exploring the grasslands. These little things. Can't make that jump. I will say, initial impression of the open world is that there is not nearly enough enemies around. I need stuff to fight, and this is basically a walk in the park so far. Figuratively and literally. summons when in the throes of battle really we need You're done. we need a summon right now that's a, that's a this wolf is a great threat I will come upon you to assist it's over here little path back and swim through there. Getting lots of goodies coming up here, so I do think it was worth it. Useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Open all the chests in a location and market as complete. Okay. Huh. 
Shit, I can't get that one now. Oh, you, you hopped up there. There we go. Wait, wasn't this the same water wheel I was at earlier? It's a different one, maybe. Okay, it doesn't mean boxes, it means chests, like literal chests. chest here somewhere. Where are you hiding? Okay, Moogle medals left and right. That's nice. I'm gonna guess it's up top somewhere. I think I need to, to find a way up. Because we have one chest that was down below, it makes sense that the other chest would be elevated. Hmm. Like right here should have been the spot for it. This is this is where I would have expected to find it. If it's not here, I mean, this is still a better spot to look around. Pressure water wheel. Is this all considered part of the pressure water wheel? Now I'm on the grassy viaduct. Okay, well that was just three chests all right next to each other. So there's there's it's gotta be like just right over there somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere that's very, very simple that I just overlooked. ground somewhere right around here. Um, let's see. Where are you hiding? Are you down here somewhere? No. Bruh, I'm not leaving until I get this chest. Give me the chest. Where? Where are you hiding, chest? Seriously, I'm looking all over the place and I'm not seeing it. If we go down, we're leaving at the area that's considered like Thresher Water Wheel. I feel like even over here, I'm too far. It's throwing me off because the other three we just like snatched, like boom, boom, boom. This one is nowhere to be found. Wait, I thought I saw something over there. I've been over that way multiple times. I'm just gonna give up on this chest in a second. I don't want to spend too long just running in circles over here. Oh, there it is. I see it. Right, literally right in front of me. I must have run past this a bunch. I mean, to be fair, green chest, kind of in the foliage, it, it, that blends pretty well. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's a hard one to see. We gotta, we gotta mark the, uh, mark the route that you're supposed to travel on with, um, I definitely need to have yellow paint on the bricks so you know where to go. But the chest, we're gonna put the green chest in the green bush. We're gonna make you work for that. 
I think that's our farm right up ahead. There was a... wasn't there a drop down right here? There we go. I will say they, they did... I know there's been a, um, a lot of discourse online about the, the yellow marks. Um, you know, looking at that, that does, it does look kind of silly. Like, I'm not going to knock him for it because you would be probably just incredibly surprised by how often people will not know where to go in a game when it comes to navigation if it isn't marked. Like, there's been studies done on this. It's, you know, it's, it's very, very common that people will just look and be like, I have no, I have no clue where to go. I don't know where I'm doing. I don't know where to go. Uh... And that's hence the the kind of the birth of the the yellow paint because it was a way to say you know make it very obvious like even in games like Resident Evil people would would uh you know back in like early betas of the game people would just wander around and be like I don't have ammo I don't know how to get ammo because they never the idea of like breaking open chests just didn't occur I mean personally I'm the type of person that if it looks like I can break it I'm gonna break it uh, but that is not universally true within gaming. And so the yellow paint is the, the easy catch-all. It, it does look silly here. I'll agree with that. It looks silly, but at the same time, I think it's equally annoying to hear people bitch and moan about it. Oh, Alright, Aerith. Um, let's see. Press the button to unleash magical attacks. Hold down to charge Tempest. Striking an enemy with the skill fully charged will summon Fleeting Familiar. I'm going to instantly warp between any magic wards she's conjured. Abilities. Absorbs MP, deal magic damage. Oh, that's right, the uh, the arcane ward is the, the give you double. Y'all are about to get flat. Pretty much how she used to. It does feel like Cloud's combat got a, a bit of a glow up because I remember him being a character that I, I didn't play all that much. I mean, well, obviously I played him, but I remember in in the remake I want to say I ended up playing uh, Tifa and Aerith most of the time just because Cloud's move set was fairly basic. But I don't know. I feel like they they changed it up. You know, we have the the way we jump onto enemies now. We won't hold back. Take the lead. Why don't you How does red work? Swipe at foes or hold it down to do a whirling slash. Guarding against attacks fills the vengeance meter, which then consumes enter vengeance mode, increasing attack power and dodge speed. It can be activated at any time, but will last longer depending on how full the gauge is. Okay. Ready when you are. Spin to win, doggo! I like the idea of assuming a like maximum guard stance and then you can counterattack, that's pretty cool. What is 
this do? This looks like I should press it. We're getting lots of movable metals, that's for sure. I don't know what these towers are for. settings where it should be. See how that looks. I think that's closer to the brightness I'm seeing. I always I always notch the brightness up a little bit on uh, my recording software because I feel like it I feel like it's extra dark. I think it might just be that the gamma on the one monitor I'm on is, is a little brighter. Comparatively speaking, so. No, I was because I, I have slightly different models of screens. So I was looking at the recording, which is on one screen, and then comparing that to my gameplay, and it looked like it was. The, the bloom was shining through a bit more than it should have, so I adjusted it there. Whereas this looks pretty comparable to what I'm looking at right now. Ginger root and numinous ashes. Damn. I've been picking up shit left and right and I ain't got enough. Can I open up these. Hello, cows. Let's go see what's over there. I mean, this whole episode is just me exploring the grasslands anyway. If I make it to my destination, great. If I don't. It's not something I'm going to concern myself with until later. Well, that takes care of the pearl ginger root. Let's see if I can get the other thing too, and then I'll craft both at the same time. Hello. Let's go up to the windmill see what's over there. I don't know if that is that a windmill? Yeah, windmill settlement. Manifestation. my sprigs of sage for a while. Is there a chest over here? I keep getting that like little little bit of life spring that like guides me to places and I'm not sure what that entails. anything pop up that indicate there's like a chest over here so
wonder if there's less monsters because this area is inhabited by people. We're seeing a couple people here and there. But it, it does seem weirdly devoid of monsters at the moment, especially considering, uh, you know, 15 and 16, which were both open world-ish, I guess we would say. I'd say open world in the same capacity this is. But with those, we had, I mean, the Ganos getting into fights all over the place. Buying sale items. What's on sale? Cushions. I should use broken down rest stops. I got five. Okay, not wasting money on that. Oh, wait. Do you even have the weapon the guy had? No. Oh, my God. It has all the other stuff. It has the talisman, revival earrings, and all that shit. Extra hunter bangle on sale for 500, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that's probably worth it. Usually they're 15, so I'll get one. Because I don't think red has anything on right now. Oh, he is on a leather bangle. This is defense and magic defense. Yeah, let's put that on you, because you're kind of functioning as a... You want to tank damage and fight. What are you? Customized folios. Do I have... I do have some. on Lilith, she'll end up being crazy on casting. Oh, you're not supposed you to talk to. Avalanche, folks? It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. Checking how it's a little low. Oh, that's cool. I can goes through all of this. Oh, wow. I am literally says interlude a world apart. So yeah, it's a it's a different world. That makes sense. This would be very useful for uh for naming. Well, I don't know. Some of these don't make sense for like episode names. I was thinking like, oh great, it detail stuff, but I'm not gonna name an episode close the valve or go back inside. <laughs> Where's this abandoned dock you speak of? Oh my goodness. They said, yes, you're going to explore everything. music or uh, music magic all right not easily angered and there must find an uncontrollable rampage effective against fire and ice Let's do this. 
Dunk A. to do this. This doesn't cause AP. What am I spending to do with these? Can I just, just do them over and over, it looks like? Yeah, it seems like... I mean, most of them seem situational, like a double hit that knocks enemies down, or a knock-up, or a bodyguard, but... Definitely seems like you can just do them over and over and over again. So if there's one that's very strong for combat, I could definitely see that getting a, a bit cheeky. Got more of the elephants over there. Lots of manifestation of the planet's blessing. Not a lot of that thing that I wanted to find to craft more. nice I'm guessing that yeah the whole so even though they're not fighting with me right now they're still leveling up at the same pace that's that's very nice that would have been super annoying if it's like okay time to rotate your party members in area of interest that thing Shinra's looks like but definitely an older model. From back when they were doing it out with the Republic. Hard to imagine this was once a battlefield. And harder still to find land anywhere that hasn't been a battlefield at some point. <laughs> so, can I... Let me see. Um, no. I can make one of these. Mist seeds. So you get XP for making it for the first time. Uh, smelling salts and echo mist. I can't do yet. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh there we go. Copper bracer. Okay, don't have any of the mats I need. Uh, I want to look at party. So if I, how do I assign leader? 
I don't know if I can. No, it's those commands. Hmm. Save. I don't see anything. I was going to see if I could assign Red to be the leader so like I run around the world as him, but I don't think that's a possibility. Considering it's like abandoned buildings. Elephants. I really hope there's more going on once we're out of the grasslands, because this is this is a very empty open world so far. Like we're just uh we're picking up a couple things, we're fighting an enemy maybe once every, god, I don't know, five to ten minutes. Like I said, definitely weird because they've they've done the you know open world type thing with 15 and with 16, so it's just kind of odd that the world is just you know so activityless as it is here. So I'm gonna chalk it up to the fact that this is like the starter zone. I'm gonna assume that it gets better. Wait a minute, Sleek Saber isn't that the one that I was going to pay a bunch of money for? Let me see. It is! I'm almost positive. Hang on. I'm gonna confirm. Uh, it would have been episode four. Let me lower the volume on it. Let's see, where is it at? Do, 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 do. I started playing card games. Played a lot of card games. I'm scrolling through the episode. It's like card game, card game, card game, card game. I did that. Then I. There's the merchant. Items vendor. Let me see. I think that was it, because I remember something about enemy weakness. Looking at the materia. Alright, talks of Delver Rider Flan. Ruffians. Like, when did I go over to the gear? I think I bought the pack and then I saw it was too expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tabbed over, got some antidotes. No, it had to be before that. It had to be like as soon as I got to the merchant. Or was it a different merchant that I talked to? Or no, it wasn't the item vendor, it was the equipment guy, that's why. Uh there we go. He talked about maxing out my weapons. Sleek Saber. Confirmed. Okay. Glad I didn't spend all my money on it. That's, that would have felt real dumb. So I wonder if it's the same case for almost every weapon. Like, you can find a version of it in the world or buy it. The purchase option is probably there in the event that you miss it. Let's see what else is out here. This looks like the kind of area I'd find, like, some flans or some ghouls or something. Not interacting with them, I guess. Well, yeah, titanium. So, yeah, there's still all of, uh... Still all of this and then stuff over here, but... I think I'm gonna wait, just because of, of seeing how this world is. I think I'd rather have, like, a chocobo or something to ride around on, so I can just cover the vast openness and kind of beeline it from like place of interest to place of interest I think that's going to be a better bet and man we are getting chunked up right now look at all this iron we're getting this is going to be great 
gonna have to worry about stealing it off of goblins anymore. We have plenty. Alright, well, either way, this seems like a good spot to wrap up since we've reached the dock. Uh, we'll continue along with our exploration in the next part, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you then.